Okay, um, I collected today the post-mortem results on a goose that died last week. Um, I had a phone call on Thursday to say that one of the geese wasn't well from Graham um, and that she'd been on her own on the pond for some time. I'd actually seen them all Wednesday night together, not on the pond, and took a photograph of them coincidentally. Um, so she hadn't been on her own then, but was on Thursday. I called in several times during the day on Thursday. She was in the shade at the back of the pond, so I wasn't able to look at her. So I did take some food down to coax her out, and she was swimming fine. She came down to the shallow end, she stood up, she clapped her wings. There was visually, other than being underweight, there was visually nothing <coughs> to pick her out as being sick. And given that she was on the pond, we felt that actually it would be more distressing for her for us to try and get her off the pond to take her to a vet. Um, so I agreed to watch and wait. I went back first thing Friday morning and unfortunately she had died on the pond. Spoke to the vets immediately and they arranged for, it's called the Animal and Plant Health Agency at the Animal Investigation Centre, which is on Ruffin Hill in Berry. They arranged for us to be able to take her there so that they could do a post-mortem for us. The results show that she had avian tuberculosis, which is caught from wild birds, and she could have caught from wild birds wherever she lived, in someone's garden, in a farm, on the village green, anywhere. They find it in cattle. Um, it's a different variant to the one that cattle usually suffer from, but they have had cattle with avian tuberculosis in this area, so they know it's in our wild birds in this area. Um, there's nothing you can do to prevent them catching it, because wild birds are wild birds and we can't stop them flying in. Um, we could, if we wished to, pen the rest of the geese in for the vets to come and do blood tests, but um, Andrew Bates, the vet I spoke to at Swaying Partners, wouldn't recommend it. He said it's not easy to do, it's stressful mm -hmm. for the geese and it has complications. Um, the actual taking blood from them can cause them to suffer more harm than we would gain from doing the blood tests. The blood tests would only show us whether they've been exposed to it. It wouldn't necessarily mean if it flagged up that they had that they would suffer from, um, would become ill because of it, and equally, if they showed up as clear, it wouldn't mean that a wild bird wouldn't fly in the following week and then infect with it. So he wouldn't recommend it, but he's happy to look into it for us if that's something we request. Um, she had an abscess in her neck, which was a TB, um, and lots of little abscesses in her liver. He said none of that would have outwardly shown anything at all. It's not like um, in geese and birds, it's not like other TB in that you wouldn't notice problems with the breathing, which you would in, in other animals. He said that essentially, right up until the last minute, you'd see nothing. Um, he said it, it's very difficult, it's very vague. He suggested that we could look out for swelling around their feet and ankles um, and them, you know, as she did, losing weight. But really, he said there is nothing specific that you can look for. It's one of those things that, where there are wild birds, it can happen. Um, there is nothing we have done that could have caused it, there's nothing we could have done that would have prevented it, and it really is just a keep an eye on them. If we see any signs um, of swelling, he would suggest that we try and quarantine that bird. Um, there's nothing they can do to make it better, but it would perhaps stop it spreading to the rest of the flock. Um, he said 
she would have been the greatest risk of infection to the rest of, rest of the flock. So if there's no signs in them, he's not overly concerned. There were no signs of any maggots or any infections or anything like that on her. She was in, in good condition in that sense. The only thing was that she was underweight. Um, so, yeah. And there's a lot of vet speak on here. Um, but he said the essential bits are it's avian tuberculosis. And they did it pretty much. Wow. And we didn't ask them to. <laughs> I went to pay the bill today and was told that there was no bill because the laboratory had done it free of charge for us. Oh, Just very nice of them. Okay.